What if I told you time isn't what you think it is? We live by it. We measure it. We stress over it. But what is time? Most people think of time like a river, flowing from the past, through the present, into the future. But physics tells a different story, because time, it's not a thing, it's a label. When you say, meet me at 7 p.m., nobody panics. We all know what to do. Time just marks when something happens, not why it flows the way it does. So why does time feel like it's always moving? One word, entropy. Entropy is the measure of disorder, and the universe loves disorder. There's a law in physics, the second law of thermodynamics. It says that everything moves from order to chaos, from low entropy to high entropy. That's why we remember the past, but not the future. That's why we age, why we die. Because entropy increases, and that's what gives us the illusion of time flowing forward. But why did this even start? It began 14 billion years ago. The Big Bang didn't just give us space and matter. It gave us time. Back then, the universe was incredibly small, dense, and weirdly neat. Low entropy. Everything since then, a slow unraveling. More randomness, more complexity, more life. Here's the twist. Most people think life fights entropy, but the truth is life exists because entropy is increasing. If the universe was perfectly balanced, nothing would happen. No change, no motion, no you. You exist because the universe is falling apart in the most interesting way possible. And one day, it'll all end. No more stars, no more light, just darkness and disorder. The universe will be simple again but it'll be a boring kind of simple, maxed out entropy. So, what is time? It's not a ticking clock. It's the soundtrack of entropy rising. You're not racing against time. You're made of time. And without it, there'd be nothing. But here's the part that really bends the brain. If entropy creates our sense of time, then why do we remember the past, but not the future? The laws of physics don't actually care about past or future. They work the same in either direction. So technically, nothing's stopping you from remembering forward, except entropy again. Because the past was more ordered and the future is more chaotic, your brain can only build memories in one direction, toward more disorder. It's not a bug, it's the rule of the game. That raises a wild question. Is the flow of time real, or just how our brains make sense of entropy increasing? Maybe time isn't moving forward. Maybe it's not moving at all. Maybe we're standing still. And change is just a slideshow we're watching, one frame at a time. So what happens when entropy finally maxes out? No more order to lose. No more systems to break down. Physicists call it heat death. A cold, dark universe with nothing left to change. No light, no thought, no time. And yet, in between that first spark of order and that final breath of chaos, the universe creates something beautiful. Us. The arrow of time isn't the enemy. It's the artist. And we are the painting. Time doesn't just pass. It paints. Want more? Please like and subscribe to learn more about time and the mystery of the universe. And make sure to visit our website, universityoftime.com, for more ideas, books, and merchandise.